What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get into some MLB player props for Saturday, April 1st slate of games. If you guys enjoyed these videos, be sure to drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button. You can also become a member for just $4.99 a month over at BearsProfitPlays.com. You can sign up today and get our best plays and props nightly, so go check that out. All right, Trey, let's look at that leaderboard. Start us off. Yeah, we both went one and one today. So it was a it was a little pushy day. I gave out Jorge Soler over a half total base and Jesus Lizardo over five and a half Ks versus the Mets. Soler walked up and jacked a home run in his first plate appearance. So we got that out of the way really quickly. But Luzardo, I mean, he was pitching really good, but he got himself into a jam and they pulled him out of the game. So he ended the game with five strikeouts, but he did have a very impressive a pitching showing so shout out Lizardo, but he did not cash for us yeah uh, like Trey said I went one and one Jake Myers last night to record a single was my first play against the White Sox he went 0 for three with two walks so that did not hit my second play was Lance Lynn over five and a half strikeouts against the Astros he looked good tonight he had almost 100 pitches in this game got into a little bit of trouble early with the walks but he went five and two-thirds innings and he allowed a two-run home run with two outs in the bottom of the fifth right before he got pulled. So unfortunate for him, but he did have six strikeouts, looking like a true ace for the White Sox this season. So he did cash for us. We go two and two. We push the day, but we're going to sweep tomorrow. Trey, start us off. 100 pitches through five innings. He is a workhorse. I'm going to be going with Jonah Heim over half a hit versus the Phillies. Heim is not catching any breaks against the Phillies today, going against stud Zach Wheeler. But we did see Wheeler struggle in spring training, though. He had a staggering ERA of 9.28 after four games of pitching. And Wheeler managed to give up more hits than he did strikeouts in spring training. And for a guy who's known for his strikeout ability, that is not a good uh, recipe for winning. So let's just hope that continues for this game. And Jonah has been great historically against Wheeler. He has six total plate appearances against him and has only got out twice. He has gone two for four with two walks in six plate appearances against them. And Heim did do great in the season opener against the Phillies too. He went two and four with two RBIs in that game. So I think he's going to be looking to stay hot and keep that momentum going early on in this season. He did bat in the sixth hole for the Rangers. So that does worry me a little bit, but he does have some good hitters in front of him. So I'm hoping that they get on base and that gives him some motivation to knock him around. So give me Jonah Heim to get a base knock in this game versus the Phillies. Yeah, Trey, I like it for my batting prop tonight. I'm going with Dalton Vershow over half total bases. This plays at minus 145. The Blue Jays got a beast in the offseason in Dalton Vershow from the D-backs. He opened up his Blue Jays debut with a two-run double in his first at-bat against the Cardinals. After that, he was retired four straight times, but he did start with a double as his first hit with his new team. This is a disrespectful line for a guy who has shown he can be great. All we need is one base hit in this game to hit this number of half. And the Cardinals-Blue Jays game yesterday or two days ago had 19 runs scored in it. So if Jack Flaherty can't go more than five or six innings, the bullpens are already worn out after the first game. Both teams had to use a lot of pitchers in that game, 34 total hits combined for each team. I know the Blue Jays ran out all their pitchers on opening day, and I'm sure the Cardinals were close to the same. So if the starting pitchers get in trouble, we could see another high-scoring game in this one. So give me Dalton Varsho to get a base hit in this game. Dre? I didn't know the pitchers in that game were not happy with that ERA that they produced to start the season. But I'm going to be going with Spencer Strider over six and a half Ks. The Nationals might honestly be the worst team in the MLB, and they're not getting any breaks going up against Strider in this game. And just look at him. Strider has a sick mustache, and he uses it for his Jedi mind tricks on the mound. And last season, those Jedi mind tricks worked out very well for him. He finished with an 11-5 and record with a 2.67 ERA. More importantly for us, though, he finished 11th in the MLB with 202 strikeouts. We saw some similar stuff from him throughout spring training. He pitched a total of 16 innings throughout spring training and had a total of 21 strikeouts. So if we just follow the trends and we just need him to go six innings deep in this game, and he should easily hit this number. He should even get close if he goes five. And in his two career games in Washington, he has been stellar when it comes to striking people out. He has pitched a total of 9.2 innings and has fanned 15 batters in the process. 
and follow the trends and follow the guts and it will pay off for us. Give me Spencer Strider to get at least seven K's versus the Nats. Yeah, Trey, one of the best pitchers in the MLB, one of the best mustaches in the MLB as well. For my pitching prop tonight, I'm going to go with Alex Cobb under two and a half earned runs against the Yankees. Alex Cobb is going into his second year with the San Francisco Giants. Last year, he finished with a 7-8 record and a 3.73 ERA. He is now the second best pitcher in the rotation for the Giants. I'm looking for a good start from Alex Cobb to start the year. Yankees have a lot of power hitters in their lineup, but in my opinion, in my opinion only, I think they aren't very good at just making contact with the ball for base hits. Besides, you know, the obvious Aaron Judge, you can hit the ball no matter where it's at, outside, inside, high, low, doesn't matter with him. But Alex Cobb last season was a guy who did not give up a lot of home runs. He only surrendered nine in all of 2022. That was in 28 games pitched, 28 games started. If he can keep the ball in the ballpark, I like his under against the Yankees. So that's where I'm going to go. Under two and a half earned runs against the Yankees tomorrow for Alex Cobb. All right, guys, that'll do it for our MLB player props for Saturday, April 1st slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.